Google just shocked everyone with the release of Android N. No one expected it but they did this for OEMs and app developers to get an early hands on so that we can get an extremely stable and functional build by Q3. The internet has been bombarded with everything related to Android N but I wanted to share with you guys 8 features and refinements that I love. First and most obvious is the notification drop down and notifications. Now instead of looking like floating cards, they look like a closely packed deck of cards spanning the whole width of the drawer. They are flatter and more immersive. You can expand group notifications and even individual notifications down to minute detail like never before. There are 5 quick tile settings at the top just below the date and you can pull it down to reveal the others and it has an awesome material design animation with everything that just adds more polish and flair. You can edit the toggles right from the drawer and it contains pages so you can store more toggles. Overall it looks cleaner and I prefer it because it's more immersive. The second is that you can change the DPI settings without root. This is simply amazing. One of anyone's most favorite custom ROM features. Just head to accessibility settings and find display size. This shrinks UI elements making you to see more things on your screen. It widens the navbar and shrinks down status bar icons as well without reboot. The third is that ambient display has been fixed and it works just as it should have on day one. Now it does turn on every time you move the device and it's faster to do so. It isn't like before where it was slow as hell and required me to pick up my device abruptly for it to work. Fourth. The settings now show notifications and suggestions. If some settings are turned off, you'll be notified once you get into the settings and the settings will also suggest some features to enhance your device usage. I see data management, battery draining apps and such heading here in the future. The settings are flat and have no more dividing lines separating settings within one category. Every category is still separated but this time it's just by a very fine thin line which is more subtle. Yeah, there is also a dark mode included but this is a bummer because I wanted black mode instead because the Nexus 6P has an AMOLED display. The fifth is that you can now calibrate your display's color temperature. This is a huge deal especially for me as I complained in my review that the Nexus 6P has a very warm aka yellow display. This can now be corrected easily to my eyes content. Now you can make it yellowish or bluish depending on what you like. Seath is a recent app's cards and now larger, way larger. They are easier to scroll through than before with the cards moving away easily to reveal the other cards behind them. Tapping the recent button now scrolls through your recent apps instead of switching between your last app and recent app screen, which is great on larger devices. I can't talk about recent apps without talking about the new split screen multitasking. Google did a fantastic job here. The implementation may be foggy but let me explain. If you're in an app, just swipe up the recent button and you'll find your recent apps waiting to share your screen. If you want another app that isn't in your recent screen, no problem. Press home, go to your app drawer and find it. It will launch alongside with the last app you used. If you're on your home screen, just press the recent apps button, hold the top bar of the app you want and pull it upwards. If you want to close this, hold the divider and swipe down to get to the app or swipe up to get to wherever you were before. The last feature I love is that those now works not only when your display is on a non-mobile surface. Now even when your screen goes off and your phone is in your hands, pocket, bags or car, those will kick in. Sort of like aggressive those with root and greenify or nap time from Franco. While Android N is awesome, this is still a very very early build. It's buggy, occasionally lags, crashes apps and generally unusable. You're highly advised not to use this unless you use it on a test device or you're a developer or you know what you're doing. It can't be a daily driver. I repeat, it can't be a daily driver. That was my time and if you like it, please leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos.